it's Lindsay from the blog Books for Christian Girls and today I'll be starting a new favorite video series. So I've already done the first episode of my favorite historical books and then my favorite preteen books and I plan to do these for all the genres because I have a lot of favorites. But this is going to be the first episode of my favorite contemporary books. So without further ado, let's just dive on in. This will be in alphabetical order by the author's last name, so I'm not like doing like top to bottom. These are just some favorites that I've really enjoyed. So I mean, I talk about this book quite often, Million Dollar Dilemma by Judy Bear. This one I talk a lot more about in my favorite Christian books video. So if you want to learn more about this one, just know it's it's a favorite. So if you're curious about it and the puffy dog, you can go check out that video and I'll give you more of a rundown about it. But I really wanted to talk about one of the author's other books and that's Nora's Ark by Judy Bear. Nora's Ark, get it? Noah, Nora, get it? Get it? Isn't that so cute? I mean, I squeed when I saw the cover because I'm like, I love that! What I love though is the back cover little bio kind the back cover synopsis kind of bio what I don't know what these are called. Tell me if you know because I'm constantly like, what is this called? But it's actually from her dog's point of view. This this part, not the entire book, just this. And it's so cute. It's great. It's just cute. She wants to own a pet store and title it Nora's Ark, which just sounds absolutely like I I would go there. I would buy all my dog stuff there, which you you hear her barking. So I mean, I really enjoyed this book. I want to reread it. I have not read this one in quite a while. I actually don't even think I have reviewed this one on BFCG, so I'll work on that, people. I'll work on that. I actually haven't read too many others of this author's other books. I haven't read her really popular series, which is the Whitney Chronicles. I haven't read those yet. They're on my TBR, not my physical, but like just to buy so I can read them. So I hope to do that and then maybe in part two those will be included in there. So while I love all of this author's books and I'll probably mention one of her book series in each contemporary video I make, I'm going to especially talk about the Paige Alder series, Paige Torn, Paige Rewritten, and then Paige Turned. <laughs> I love the titles of these two. What is it with contemporaries? They always can have like the best names and also the funnest, most bright, colorful covers. So this, I don't know why this series, I just love this one right now out of the most. Still have to finish the Carrington Spring series, and then there's the other two books of the Lauren Holbrook series I haven't read. So I mean, I haven't read all her books, I'm saving some of them. But for this video, I just so adore this series. It does leave off with some cliffhangers, so I also... We of course have the super sweet romance, a ton of Faith content. I love Paige. Paige is a character I wish was real because she is just so sweet and down to earth and then her humor is great. But her Faith, I love hearing about her Faith. She leads a Bible study for high school girls. She works at an adoption agency. She's just all around awesome and now I want to reread the series. Another really cute rom-com kind of book that's set in a bridal shop is Love, Lace, and Minor Alterations by V. Joy Palmer. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Normally, author blurbs mean nothing to me. Sorry. Janice Thompson gave a blurb for this one, so that changes everything. That changes everything. So, Janice Thompson gave a blurb for this, which I'm fixing to talk about her books, but I had her last name starts with a T, so it's, she's the last one. But this is definitely for those who like Janice Thompson books. It's so cute and witty, and it's got faith content, and it's set in a bridal shop and there's change, and the main girl is like, I don't like change. So it's really cute and interesting. So this next book, it's been a while since I've read it, so I also need to reread this one. But that's Rivaled Hearts by Tara Randall. Randall? Ran... I'm, I'm sorry. But what really was fun, I remember enjoying this one, was even though it's a quilt of love book, it was really interesting entertaining because the main two, Molly and Ben, are rival magazine writers and they have to switch jobs. He writes about the quilter's heart and he does the outdoor adventures. So it's kind of outside of both of their comfort zones and of course he's like, I got this and then he realizes, oh quilting's a lot harder than it looks. And then she actually has fun maybe? I don't know. I'd have to reread this one. But I just remember really enjoying this one. And it's a pretty short book, so if you're looking for shorter books, I would definitely recommend looking into this one. A 
Okay, and then I'm gonna try not to fangirl so hard, but I'm already fair late in this video, let's be honest. And Janice Thompson books. I mean, y'all, I mention Janice Hannah Thompson in like every video, so I always get asked, what book should I start with? And while a lot of people start with the Weddings by Bella series, I personally didn't. And while I do love the whole Bella's family and the storylines and everything, I would have to say I really like the Backstage Pass series better. I don't know why. I just really enjoy the series and that's why I have given away so many copies of this first book, Stars Collide by Janice Thompson, because it is such a good one and it's the one that got me started in it. So you can start with Fool's Rush in, but I mean I also really like Stars Collide, even though this one isn't set in Texas. This one's set in Texas. So, I mean it's got bonus points which just means set in Texas, let's be honest. So this whole trilogy is so great. I again I'm due for a rereading this one too. I feel like I'm giving y'all my rereading list. I say this in other videos. But yes, I just adore this series and I need to reread it because I'm in the mood for more Janice Thompson humor and tons of faith content. So that's really all the books I'm gonna talk about in this first episode of my favorite contemporary books. Please let me know if you've read any of these, if you've added any of these to your TBR, I would love to know. I honestly don't read too many contemporary books unless they are Janice Thompson or Aaron Mangum. So I'm trying to venture out and read more, but it's kind of a process because sometimes I just don't read contemporary books. I do like wedding contemporary books, so I think that's why I just love Janice Thompson's books. And so I'm sure I'll have more of her books to talk about in the second episode of this favorite contemporary series. So, but I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm Lindsay from the blog booksforchristiangirls.blogspot.com where I post a new review every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have a new video on this channel every Thursday, and I'm on Instagram every other day. Bye, y'all!